are live all across Northwest and West Central Ohio tonight here on WOSN. It's the season opener for the Edward Archers as we are in the range as the Archers take on the Big Green of Autoville. Hello again, everyone. Alongside my partner, Miles Holliday, I'm Randy Roberts. Partner, haven't seen you in a while. Good to be back with you. You've been off on uh, your little, I don't want to say vacation. You've been on gallivanting around the state of Ohio. Great to finally get you down here in Antwerp and see you again. I had a bad nightmare in Columbus a couple Saturdays ago, but uh, beside the point, we're also would you rather be than right here, right now, Randy. Really two good basketball programs, and I get to do it with the mayor of Northwest Ohio, Randy Roberts himself. And two teams that competed in the Division Four region a year ago. Antwerp did a little bit better than that. We'll talk about that as we get deep into our pregame. We'll take a look at the starting lineups for this matchup tonight. Uh, Ottoville coming in at 2-0 and with wins over Lima Perry, 58-42 in Bath. 60 to 52 while Antwerp playing in its first game thanks to a lengthy run in the playoffs. And Miles, let's take a look at uh, the big green of Ottaville, led by Kellen Schlagbaum, 18 and a half points, eight rebounds, two and a half assists. Again, a small sample size of a couple of games, but they've got some pretty good players from a team that went 17 to 10 and went to the regional a year ago. Yeah, you take a look at, they got three guys that can really score. Schlick bomb, as you mentioned, Seaver, of course, and Turnwall can put some ball, balls in the basket as well. So anytime you have three guys that can score, that is very difficult, difficult for a defense to contend with. But it's Schlick bomb that is the guy that will cause you fits. If you let him get to the rim, he can fill it up from behind the arc as well. But you gotta take one of those facets of his game away I know Coach Billman, he's really concerned about what Kelly can do. And we'll get into your keys of the game in just a couple of minutes. But, uh, let's talk a couple of things about Ottaville. You mentioned the two and a half assists out of Schlagbaum. Turnwald, Seaver also two and a half assists a game. This is a team, and again, it's two games, small sample size, but 11 assists a game. They dish the basketball, they've got the guys that can score, and they want to play at a pretty quick tempo. And they want to get it, the ball up and down the floor. They, you'll see a lot of pressure defense out of them as well, Randy. That's a, a philosophy that if they can get points off of turnovers, they love that. And they try to get the up-tempo going, get shots early in the possession because they think that's when the defense is not at their best. All right, let's talk about the Antwerp Archers and our head coach, Doug Billman. They've had eight practices and one <laughs> scrimmage thanks to a football season that went a little long. Yeah, Coach Billman said he's he hasn't had everybody at practice yet, really. He's had uh, eight practices, but some guys have been there, some have not been there. You know, remember, the Carson Ultimus is still kind of nursing an ankle that he suffered in the, the football tournament. He's going to try and go tonight, not going to start. And Kendrick Robinson, he's a guy that we talked to before the game. He's not 100% yet, still working that leg injury, fractured bone from the football playoffs as well. So this is a team, really, Randy, that we're not going to know a ton about them after tonight. Mm -hmm. You know, Probably going to learn more about them in about a week or two when they're back to full strength. Yeah, lost seven winners off a very successful team that went 26 and two and reached the D4 state semifinals before falling to New Madison Tri Village. One of those players that we do know expect to play well, Landon Brewer is going to be their top player, six four junior, 13 and a half points, 5.6 rebounds a year ago. Yeah, if he makes another jump in his junior year that he did from his freshman to sophomore year, he's going to be an outstanding player moving forward, one way or the other. But remember, as a freshman, just kind of a, a stand outside and shoot guy last year. A lot more dynamic playmaker, can put the ball on the floor. Interesting to see how Landon Brewer has progressed his game another year. Well, let's uh, get into our keys to the game while we have a minute here before they get into our uh, anthem and introductions, and let's start with the big green of Ottaville. Yeah, take a look at Ottaville. Number one, uh, drop a, a schlag bomb, baby. He can fill it up from anywhere on the floor. He is a big-time scorer, 19 out against Bath last time out, average 16 a game. You can put it on the floor. He can shoot from behind the arc. you got to pick your poison with him. First eight seconds, not talking about riding a bull at a, at a rodeo, Randy, but the eight seconds is what they want to do in the first eight seconds of their possession. They want to push that ball up floor. If they believe that the defense doesn't get set, that's when you get your best shots. And then rotate bodies. That's their philosophy today on Landon Brewer. Going to try and get as many bodies on him to wear him down. So that could be one guy that draws the assignment on Brewer. How about some keys to the game for the homesteading Antwerp Archers in their season opener? Hey, the standard is the standard, right? Jagger Lander's not here. Uh, the general's not here anymore. But the standard is still there. Those guys set the standard. You better live up to it. So play extremely hard. Stay grounded. Do not go jumping at jump shots tonight or else it's going to be easy layup. 
and then Big Shot Brewer. Until this team gets healthy, I think Big Shot Brewer is going to have to carry the load offensively. For them to have a shot tonight, Randy, he's going to have 15 plus. So getting ready here as uh, we'll turn things over to the PA announcer, just uh, about ready to go with our uh, national anthem here at the range in Antwerp. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the range for tonight's matchup between the Ottawa Big League and our own Archer. <laughs> to honor America, please stand and join the Archer Cup Band led by Mrs. Andrea Newell in the play of our national anthem. Great job by the Antwerp Pep Band with the performance of our uh, national anthem. Let's uh, run through those uh, starting lineups quickly again for Ottaville. Their starting lineup will be a six foot senior Grant Lease, 6'1 uh, senior Kellen Schlagbaum, a 6'3 senior Alex Seaver, six foot senior Carter Horseman, and a 5'9 junior in Michael Turnwald. Starting lineup. For the Antwerp Archers tonight, again, some uh, different names, what you're uh, used to, some uh, other ones who uh, will see some action later on in the year. Parker Moore, a 5'10", a senior. Zayden McMichael, a six-foot freshman. Reed Leasty, a 5'10", junior. Landon Brewer, a 6'4", junior. And Cam Fuller, a 5'10", junior. Take a look, Miles, this Antwerp roster, one thing I didn't realize, there's only two seniors on this team. This is... And we talk about the experience, what they've done the last three, four years, but this year's unit, kind of a, a young team. Yeah, you look at it, mostly juniors, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight juniors on there. Parker Moore and uh, Kendrick Robinson, the only two seniors on us, has one freshman, Zane McMichael, is a guy that they have huge hopes for. They think that he's going to be a fantastic player. One of those guys that just loves to be in the gym and shoot baskets. And, of course, a coach's kid, usually that way, right? Uh, right. The big big question mark for me, though, Randy, other than how do you replace, well, you don't really replace a Jagger Landers, right? You don't replace a guy like that, greatest player in school history. But, you know, Luke Krause did so much for this basketball team, the general running the point guard position. Who's going to take over that role that can distribute the basketball and take care of it when things are going bad? We do want to tell you that our scoreboard tonight is sponsored by the Antwerp Exchange Bank. We proudly invest in our community and in tonight's broadcast. Ottaville in the traditional green with a white and gold numerals. Antwerp will be in the white. Take a quick time out. Have the opening tip for you when we return. And don't adjust your dial. It did get that dark here on the range. A great way to introduce starting lineups here in Antwerp. Get you fired up on a Tuesday night. Right, we think someone's going to go up and hit the side of their TV. The old days. This is a, the that's bird. how you fix it, right? I, I, I don't know what this means. I've only heard it. We'll have to ask Ken Reeker later. There's something called a vertical hold. Oh, yeah. I don't know what... I don't know what that is. I'm going to be honest. I know I'm, I know I'm showing my age. Well, some like, of us remember having to go adjust the antenna. Like, I guess there, there were dials on the TV once upon uh -huh. a time. I don't, I'm, I'm, I don't, what, uh, I. You whippersnappers, you have no idea. I guess. Well, it's going to be Brewer jumping for Antwerp. 
got a tremendous vertical. Let's take a look who's jumping for Ottoville, and it's going to be Schlagbaum. So two best players toe-to-toe -to -toe early. So AD drew all the miss, finishing up the uh, sweeping on the floor with all the students. Tailwind, the wins are opening tip underway here from the range. Again, season opener for the Archers. Ottoville coming in at 2-0 with a sweep through Lima Land. Ball's going to come over the wing. Brewer, Brewer, step back, left-footed, three. Also left-handed as well. It's up no good. Rebounds grabbed in the corner by Ottaville. Schlagbaum bring the ball into the front court. Comes the wing left side. Swing around top of the key. This team will move quick. But spin move of the low block to kick out. Pull up jumper, step inside the free throw line. Rims out. Offensive put back is no good. And the rebound's grabbed by Reed Leasty. Back and forth we go. This may be the pace of this game played tonight. Conditioning may be a factor for Antwerp. We'll see how many they play. Not expected. We know Kendrick Robinson will not go. He's not in uniform. One big question mark, Carson Aldemus, the All-Ohio football player. We'll talk with uh, their AD about some of the success they had football coming up at halftime. About that left-handed shot up no good. The rebound grabbed by the big green, and away we go. A pull up wing three, that's gonna be good. First bucket of the night comes from Alex Seaver. Well, Seaver, release rotation and splash on that one and better catch your breath early because you might not get one in this game. It's up and down. Big shot, Brewer comes back the other way as Landon will score. 3-2 in our Antwerp Exchange Bank scoreboard. Minute and a half gone by, quarter number one. They gotta credit both teams for early season conditioning, being able to play at this pace. Early in the season, Ottaville, they want to get the ball up and down in a hurry. The wing three again, that one trying to bank in a little too strong. Another offensive rebound pulled down by the big green. Swing it back over to the wing. Good drive all the way to the basket. A little double clutch. We'll get a foul inside. No, got to keep your hands down and stay grounded. Antwerp kind of jumped at the jump shot fake and allowed Ottaville to drive in and I thought it was going to be a shooting foul, partner, but they're going to say he's on the ground. Yeah, Parker Moore whistled for the foul, say before the act of shooting. Force Ottoville to inbound. Mentioned Antwerp getting one scrimmage in. That was against uh, other teams, also deep in the playoffs. Uh, Miles was Van Wert and you told Elmwood. me the other Elmwood. So three teams in the same situation, but that fall away up and good. Right, Coach Billman said they, they played eight quarters that day last Saturday and won seven of the eight quarters. Wonder if Antwerp maybe will use this more as a scrimmage, try to get some guys in. Skip pass over the top, extra pass comes over the wing left side, three ball. Not a lot of rotation, but Releasey able to knock it down. Now Releasey, a little three delicious from downtown. Ties us at five, you see in our Antwerp Exchange Bank scoreboard. Nice little spin move in the lane, spin rooney does not go. Is the, the spin rooney the miss rooney yeah, it was a misser, a little too hard that time. Give him an A for effort though, stylistic. Brewer to Leasty. how about the switch to the hands and the layup up and good. Oh, Looked like an A gap inside zone run for Leasty. Been attacking the seam all fall long, attacks the lane that time. Puts the Archers in front for the first time tonight. Spin move is cut off. Schlagbaum at the wing, comes slashing through. He'll get rid of the basketball, now calls for it. Double clutch inside, can't get it to fall. Brewer fighting for the rebound. It is grabbed, and now the offensive foul as Parker Moore is going to pick up his second. We take a look at the replay, the player control foul. Well, watch Lee's heads up play right here. Doesn't get the rebound, gets himself in good position. That's a lot of courage to take a guy's shoulder into the chest. Tough call by the official. Bang, bang. Ottaville gets the call. Yeah, Grant Lee's the one who draws the foul. Moore will have to sit. Well, there's two personal fouls here, 4.45 to go open in quarter. Well, off balance shot was tough, but Carter Horseman able to knock it down. He's got four and we're tied at seven. And a second inside point variety bucket for Ottaville. A Brewer with the basketball. Pass will go off the hand of the intended target as Ben Savina checked in. Yeah, just trying to do a little too much there, wasn't it? Going through the legs, put a little show time on and put too much hot sauce on a pass that's five feet away. Turnover for the Archers. We'll give the ball back over to Ottaville. Very entertaining first half of quarter number one. Spot up three doesn't go. Offensive rebound, Schlagbaum 
get it through the lane where the ball's knocked away. Savina comes away with it, it's a steal. I know the Archers thought about going in transition, they'll now slow up. Cam Fuller will bring the ball into the front court. Yeah, Coach Billman calls for a set, gonna be a high screen and roll. And out of the overplaying everything Brewer touches. Yeah, Savina was set up with that uh, high post, wasn't there. Leaner by Brewer is no good. Coming out of traffic with the basketball is Kellen Schlagbaum. Schlagbaum with a give behind for Turnwald. Turnwald to get rid of it, back to Schlagbaum. Tremendous spacing by Ottaville early in this basketball game. Really putting a lot of stress on that Antwerp defense. Nice job with a pivot, stays in bounds in the low block. Uh, Kellen Schlagbaum scores for the first time tonight. Well, Schlagbaum said, it. I'll spin a Rooney, but I'll make it that time. So the spin a Rooney, make a Rooney. Oh, I like it. Not to be confused with the rice a Rooney. I'm gonna have to talk to the people at Chef Boyer D, see if we can get that marketed. Ooh, should have been a foul call. Trouble in traffic is going to lead to the leak out. Layup is no good, but a heads up play under the basket. Alex Seaver throws that off the knee of, I believe, Brewers. We take a look at the replay. Yeah, the top corner of that backboard, that white square is undefeated. I don't know why guys don't use it more. Just a little too did soft on the finger roll. Did Cost he hear, him an easy hear basket. the steps of the defender coming? You wonder if the little pitter patter of the defense got in the ear. Quick three off the inbound is up and good. That's why. As Antwerp will take a quick timeout. Yeah, Schlagbaum again. You got to make sure you're aware where he's at because he will drop a Schlagbaum on you from behind the arc. And we'll take a timeout as well out of it with the early lead. Well, Miles, we saw the reason for the missed layup. It's so Ottaville could hit the three in the corner off the inbound. They'll trade the three for two, 12-7, big green here early on. Yeah, just playing good math, right? Trade two for three. That's how it works. You sure at least went to the huddle and said, Coach, that's why I missed it? Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry I missed it, Coach, but I'm glad we made the three. And we're going to try in the other end, the wing three up and good. Yeah, Zay McMichael, he's going to be a guy that's going to be fun to watch in this program for the next four years. Just all effort, all basketball, loves the game. Now, out of those going to throw this away. The McMichael family, a successful one on the hardwood here in Antwerp. Dad, former uh, boys and now current girls coach. He knows a little bit about winning some basketball games here, right? Brother Gage came through here. Has a sister on the girls team, I do believe. Now, Ottaville picks up full court. Just a little bit of a token, make you work. They're going to have Brewer initiate the offense. A good opener, good test for Antwerp. By the way, this matchup, the 21st all-time between these two. Ottaville leads the all-time series 13-7, and since they restarted the series four years ago, Antwerp has never lost. This one on the baseline, deflected, and it's going to stay with the Archers. We take a look. Yeah, taking a look at the denial that Horseman is applying on Brewer, they're going to have to clear aside and work a backdoor cut because they are really making Landon Brewer work hard to get any kind of pass out to the wing. Officials say that uh, Keaton Schnipke, number 33, last one to touch it. There's a good bounce pass on the back door. Entry no good. Rebounds fought for. Still being fought for. Brewer comes away with it. Officials letting him play. Brewer with a left hand able to put it off the window and in. Well, you better bring your man card tonight if you're going to work inside. Landon Brewer just takes it away and then goes stronger than everybody else for the finish. As you see on the Antwerp Exchange Bank scoreboard, we are tied at 12 once again. Schlagbaum trying to clear everyone out, goes to the right, comes back through the lane. Get two players in one spot, three ball rims out. How about that put back and good? Skeet Schnipke, the junior, comes up with a big play. Holy Schnipke, check this out. Unbelievable effort to split it and get the rebound. And then a little smooch and the foul. Here it is right here. Schnippy's gonna come out from the baseline right here, get higher than anybody else. And before he brings it back down, the smooch. By the way, stood next to the shooter on the missed shot. And now he will finish off a three-point play. The old-fashioned three-point play. Coach Billman's reaction, anguish, wasn't it? I liked uh, you had the chance to talk to Coach Billman and uh, 
pretty much told you, hey, we're just going to roll the balls out and see what happens tonight. Always. Oh, the wing jumper, Cam Fuller, it's going to go for two. But just a little bit inside the arc, his feet were on the line, but always love visiting with Coach Billman, such a positive dude. The right man for this job, indeed. Three ball on the other end, as Schlagbaum's knocked down a second of the quarter. Third of the contest already for the Big Green. They've got the big lead, 18-14. Right, Coach Otendorf's got to be excited about the way his team is moving the basketball in the offensive end. They're going to get another shot here as they stay with possession. But it's been impressive how quickly they're zipping the ball around the perimeter. Antwerp making a change as we do see Carson Altimus coming into the lineup. Weren't sure if he was going to give it a go tonight, but we see number 10 out there. He practiced yesterday, had a good response to it. That high ankle sprain that he's been struggling with since the football season. Really wasn't the same guy when we saw him against Lima Central Catholic. No, he wasn't. Changed the outcome of that football game for sure. But uh, if they get him back healthy at all, it's going to be a bonus for this team. JV game, by the way, won by Ottaville, 44-10. Step back three, well, too much, no good. Rebound's going to head out of bounds. And Joe Allen will say that uh, Antwerp will take over with the basketball. Right, Grant Lees checks back in for Keaton Schnipke, who gave this Ottaville team quite a burst while he was on the floor. Yeah, great three-point play here early on. That might be the lead of our uh, Stolle Insurance Hustle Award that we'll have to give out later tonight. I take a look at the student section rant. Or is it pajama night, or is it we're going shopping at Walmart night? What, it, what is that look over I there? I would say that's the same night, isn't it? <laughs> a tough shot. McMichael trying to work it around. Ball comes loose. How about a fortuitous bounce right to Leasty, who puts it in as the horn sounds. That's how our first quarter will end. It's a good one. 18-16 Ottaville. We'll have more here on WOSF. Oh, very entertaining first quarter in the books. 18-16. It's uh, Christmas pajama night at Antwerp. Yeah, I, I guess so, right? Look, in Toledo, when I go to my favorite Walmart, that's all I see right there. Oh, that's any Walmart. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's, right. that's any Walmart. Okay. So, getting into the uh, holiday spirit, little holiday hoops coming up for you. So, Randy Roberts, when you go to the Walmart in uh, Wauseon, that's what you break out your pajama bottoms and uh, slippers? I got, I got Christmas trees. Nice. Nice. Green Christmas tree pajama pants. I think Antwerp's actually... Got to feel good, only down by two. You know, limited practice that they've had. You know, mix in a little bit of a zone here, one three one, something they employed quite a bit last year. Out of those, working it diagonally. It's going to come around to the wing. Jay Slinghouse checked in at the quarter break. He's got it. Now into the corner, three balls, no good. A lot of contact, fighting for the rebound. Seaver comes away with it. He'll get the kick out. Top of the key, another three is no good, and McMichael tracks down the rebound in the corner. He's looking to push. He had no one pick him up, so he'll bring the ball into the front court. Now gets open with a left hand. Can't get it off the roll. Ball's knocked out of bounds on the rebound. Officials are going to get together, and they're going to say it's going to Ottaville basketball. I actually thought McMichael should have taken a three there. Caught it in rhythm, made one earlier in this game. Confident he, shooter should go ahead. He looked like he was going to. You know, almost kind of talked himself out of it, right? Yeah, he did. 18-16, 7.20 to go before halftime here in our Antwerp Exchange Bank scoreboard. Antwerp Exchange Bank is tonight's scoreboard sponsor. We proudly invest in our community and in tonight's broadcast. Yeah, got to be aware of the guys in the corner against us. 1-3-1, one, one. a good shooting team like Ottaville. They skip it around, throw it to the corner. I'll have an open three. I'd like to change, though. And the high post, going to come out long one, taken from the wing, nothing but net. Michael Turnwald knocks down Ottaville's fourth triple of the night. Ooh, a little tray tray action from long range, about 24 footer. Biggest lead of the night for the Big Green, 21-16. McMichael double teamed, he'll get it to Brewer. Now Leasty with it, trying to step back, gets a screen, spins, nearly lost the handle. Brewer thought about that long range shot, got the defender Faded a little bit. Now he's going to clear out and gets it back. 
Double team's not gonna stop Brewer. He'll just muscle through it high off the glass. Didn't get the shooter's touch. Ball's then deflected out of bounds and it's gonna go to Ottaville. Well, you gotta wonder what it's gonna take for Landon Brewer to get himself to the free throw line, right? Nothing but contact on that young man every time he touches the basketball. Tried to split the double team, but you see Coach Billman working the officials like, hey, 21, he's getting a hit. It's okay to put him at the free throw line. 21, also the number of points Ottaville has here so far, thanks to our Antwerp Exchange Bank scoreboard. Look at that soft spot of the zone, got it into the baseline where it's gonna come out. Oh, Jump stop, lost the handle as Horseman have it stripped away. Brewer thought about leading the break. He's got hands all over him now in the front court by Schlagbaum. Hand checks going called here so far tonight. Don't know if that'd be the case in the NBA. Uh, McMichael nearly had it poked away. Boy, Horseman, no matter who he's on defensively, he is in their shorts. Really good defender for Ottaville. It's spin, that was going to be partially blocked. Saw the reaction out of Seaver. He thought he had a clean block, so did his coach. We'll take a look at the replay. Well, let's watch it. Seaver does a good job staying on the floor, and then, oh, the extension says, get that shot out of here. But I think it was the hand on the bottom, right? The left hand, he was tickling his little tummy. And they're going to say that's a foul. I'm glad you had to tickle mine while explaining <laughs> the tickle on the floor. That's appreciative. First free throw from Cam Fuller's up no good. But isn't that something, though? You get hit with a sledgehammer earlier in this game in the in the lane, no call, but just a little bit of a touch. Little tap, yep, just a little, little kiss. Fuller trying to split the free throws. That one will rim out as well. Tough break for the Archers. Ottaville comes away with it very quickly. Come into the front court, wing three off the front of the iron. Brewers got it. Now the Archers look to push. Here's Ultimus. Don't know how much we'll see of him tonight. He seems to be moving okay, though. It is a heavy brace on that left ankle. McMichael wanted a clear out. Instead, comes over to Fuller. They're kind of out of sorts offensively, aren't they? Savina's going to have the ball poked away, but it'll stay with the Archers. Well, Schnipke recognized that Savina did not look comfortable with dribbling that basketball. Came up, came up almost got himself a turnover. Crossover move, Brewer again creates contact. It looks like he'll head to the free throw line. Well, this is a big man play right here. One on one, he got a 1-4 baseline set, and he's gonna attack the rim and watch the forearm just clear things out. Cottleville saying, hey, you know what? That's a foul offensively, but I like it. Brewer initiated contact, no one came to help. Take it all the way to the hoop. Able to get the free throw, so he's got five points tonight. At least he leads the Archers so far with seven. Brewer with five, McMichael with three, Fuller with two. The junior hits the second free throw as well. Okay, and we're just doing enough to hang around, staying in this 1-3-1. One, one. Ottaville hit a three against it, but that's the only bucket they've gotten out of four possessions against the 1-3-1. One, one. Ball goes into the corner. Little field in the... Uh, Different field than the matchup last year where Antwerp won by double digits, won by actually 22. There's a steal. Ultimus trying to take on three defenders under the basket a little too far, can't do anything. And Ottaville's gonna come away with it. I thought Ultimus was contacted on the attempt. Should have been at the free throw line, but hey, the officials have established this is gonna be a man's game. You better be tough. It's usually the style they play. Here is a pass. It's going to hit the backside of the backboard, which counts as out of bounds. I'm glad you said it was a pass, because otherwise that's the worst shot in the history of basketball right there, wasn't it? You haven't seen me take shots. <laughs> uh, Audible going to go ahead and pick up full court here. A man pressure, so let's go ahead and clear the court out, let you guys work it up, and that's Parker Moore bringing it. High post pass. Goes to Savina, who then gives it right back. Kind of caught Savina out of sorts. He wasn't really expecting that pass. And remember, Moore picked up his two fouls quick. He sat most of that opening quarter. And now, 
foul on the sideline, a little contact. I actually think Leasty was gonna run away from this pass here. I think he was gonna cut back door. Kind of surprised Leasty, see his body, his body language saying I'm gonna make a back door cut. They look out, get themselves a foul call. Now Alex Seaver picks up his second. He'll sit down. Here's the inside out, Brewer the wing three, knocks it down. And that kind of caught Schlegbaum napping a little bit, looked inside for the pass. Brewer was all by himself. Ottaville trying to match it in the other end, shots up no good, now flying in for the rebound was Horseman. Get it inside, and Ottaville able to come back and score. Yeah, Horseman just a tough dude. Gets the rebound there, takes a shot to the nose, doesn't let him bother him, he finishes hard. Horseman now with six. Thanks to the Antwerp Exchange Bank scoreboard, you can see Ottaville with a two point lead. Very entertaining one here on this Tuesday night from the range in Antwerp. Miles and I will be back here a couple of times this year. Antwerp still expected to be one of the top teams in the GMC, but that up and under move. Yeah, Parker Moore, one of the best receivers on this football program in the fall. He can finish in a big way. He shows it there in basketball. And the other end of the floor will have a foul as we take a look at this move by Parker Moore. Yeah, good little dribble through the legs and the explosion. How about that splits the defense? And a little smooch off the top of the window. Mr. Moore. Ties us at 23. You see in the Antwerp Exchange Bank scoreboard, 2.49 left to go. Opening half, very quickly paced for 16 minutes of basketball. Back to man to man for Antwerp. Horseman trying to go baseline is cut off, a little hand fighting, and we'll have a foul down on the low block. As Reed Leasty is going to pick up his first foul. Fifth whistled against the Archers, so two more will put Ottaville in the bonus. Dribble handoff off the inbound. Off the curl, long three. Another but net on a Schlagbaum. Ah, Schlagbaum left no doubt about it, right? Quick rise and fire, young man. You can bury it from anywhere on the floor. It's his third triple of the night. He's got 11 as Ottaville moves back in front. He's went along the baseline, balls loose, out of bounds. Antwerp will keep it. A good catch by Ultimus on the cut to the basket. Tried to catch and finish. Just a little too far underneath the extension. Couldn't get it up. Zane McMichael do the inbounding along the baseline. Far side. Needs a little help trying to get the ball in. Nice fancy footwork there out of Joe Allen to keep from getting out of the play. I think you got to blame full there because when the pass was made, what did he do? He stopped his feet. Got to keep working your way back towards the basket. Archer's inbound once again. Here's Brewer. Brewer to that offhand, creates a little space. He uses his body to do it as well, and he muscles his way to the bucket. Now about the step through and then the clear off by Brewer. I guess that's the extra phase of his offense that we expected to see. This is the strength inside, the finish. Brewer now in double digits with 11 points. Another three, that one hoisted up is no good. Brewer's got the rebound as well. Not a McMichael. Michael leaves at least he left-handed. Three swishes it in. It's a fourth triple of the night. Back and forth we go. Ottaville trying to answer in the other end of the three. It's no good. Aldemus comes off the miss. Now to Brewer. Brewer waits for everyone to get into the front court. He'll find McMichael. How quick will Antwerp play here in the final minute 20 of the half? Yeah, it looks like Coach Bill McCollin is set to get Ultimus free. Tried to get a screen. That one was read nicely by Ottaville on the double team. McMichael lost the basketball. It's turned over. And with a minute left in the half, Ottaville will have it. Dribble handoff. A nice spin going inside. Couldn't get off the window. It was Langhouse. And now we'll get a timeout. Brewer might have gotten a little contact. As Antwerp will take a timeout. Uh, Coach Billman calls a 30-second timeout. And I think everybody in the gym 
was kind of appreciative of that timeout. Everybody can take a little bit of a breath there as things were really heating up. It's been impressive to see a, a Antwerp team partner that wasn't really supposed to compete tonight, right? They're, they're competing in a big way. Let's see on the Antwerp Exchange Bank scoreboard, 28-26. Uh, we weren't really kind of joking, we said, when uh, you talked to Coach Billman, but uh, like he said, he sent out some information to a uh, handful of the media members that are here tonight. Fellas, we had, it literally, it was fellas, we've had eight practices in a scrimmage. I don't know what to expect. Right. I don't know who's playing. I don't know who's not playing. We're just going to see what happens. Yeah, not to, to mention you know, all the graduation, <laughs> you know, all the great players that he doesn't have anymore. And Coach Landers isn't with him anymore. The, the, the sheriff, who was a big part of this coaching staff, no longer on the bench with him. And so far, everything's still well and good in Archer country. Cam Fuller gets rid of it. Ball's lost, a little friendly fire, contact inside. Ottoville with it, but right now it's a one on three. A little double clutch, nowhere to go with the basketball. Michael Turnwald, kick out goes to the wing. Under the basket, the rebound's gonna be up and good by Horseman. Boy, what a difference maker Horseman has been in this first half for Ottoville. Doing all the dirty work. Another offensive rebound for Horseman. Under 10 seconds and a whistle, a reach coming against the big green with 5.1 to go. Well, the intensity is like tournament feel in here tonight. Opening night, nobody wants to lose this one in Antwerp. We got here a couple hours before the game, and the parking lot was packed. They love their basketball here in Antwerp. A nice crowd on a Tuesday night opener. McMichael trying to get the bounce pass inside. It's going to be taken away, and that's how the first half will end. But it's been an entertaining one here on the range. 28 all of the break. We'll have more when we return. You're watching High School Basketball live on WOSN. Twenty-eight, twenty-eight. Our score just about ready to begin the third quarter here from the range. It's the Antwerp Archers kick off their season out of those we said in our pregame. Already 2-0, and oh, partner, very uh, entertaining opening half of basketball. Boy, we need to bottle some of these points and save them for later in the year because you know we're going to have a couple rock fights. <laughs> we will. That is for sure. 28 all thanks to our Antwerp Exchange Bank scoreboard. Wow, Archers. Oh. Physicality right away. By Ottoville defensively. It's Archers with the basketball to begin the second half. And you had it nearly taken away. Here's the kick out open three. McMichael, a little too strong. Offensive rebound pulled down. One's going to go up. No good. A lot of contact. Ball's loose on the floor. And then a whistle and a foul. Well, best advice, right? There's going to be a lot of contact inside. Accept the contact. Go after it, right? Mm -hmm. Go into the contact. You saw Lisi there kind of fall away from it, right? Officials aren't going to give you the benefit of the doubt. If you're falling away from it, trying to make a circus shot, go into the defender, you initiate. At least he tried to go straight up, and that's where the shot went as well. Now Brewer had a kick out well into the rings for him. And Coach Billman said that they're going to be a little bit more of a four and five out team. Try to beat guys off the dribble, and you see how they start the second half in that five out look. Here's Brewer getting the clear out, goes to the basket, can't get it off the angle. Offensive rebounds pulled down, it's another one. Brewer gets the loose ball, muscles his way through, had it stripped away, and it's gonna stay with the Archers. Well, if you like contact inside, you're gonna love this possession. Lots of bodies colliding. We're playing a little bumper cars here in Antwerp. Inside off the inbound, that one's gonna be blocked out of bounds, so the Archers will get it once again. 53 seconds gone by in our Antwerp Exchange Bank scoreboard. Antwerp Exchange Bank is tonight's Scoreboard sponsor, we proudly invest in our community and in tonight's broadcast. There's McMichael coming around top of the key. That between the legs dribble, spins. Left to pass inside, Parker Moore not quite ready for it, but does recover. 
This one lost. That one's just going to be ripped away as Michael Turnwald comes up with a steal. Now Otteville on the other end. In transition, able to get the bucket as Carter Horseman will score. Yeah, Coach Otendorf wanted a, a foul call as well. As he thought Horse had been hit as he was going up to make that layup. Otendorf nearing a milestone as well. 95-29 and 29 in his sixth year at Otteville. There's another steal. Here is Lisa with it. Runners too strong and now contact on the rebound will lead to a foul. Now how many times you have a two on none and your result with no points. Second time tonight that Lease has come up on a bunny. Not been able to finish. Shaking his head and he should. Free bucket. Turnwald will have to inbound. Foul on Antwerp is the third on Parker Moore. So he was in foul trouble very early. Now a little bit of some here with his third foul. Minute 45 seconds gone by in their third quarter. There's a spin rooney That one's up no good. They yeah, got a little extra steps in on that one, I thought. Yeah. Can't get to 8,000 if you don't get to one. McMichael coming top of the key. Get it back to Brewers. They'll spin around to the right wing for Leasty. Leasty to the elbow. Inside. Couldn't roll it off the rim. Officials will say that it was tied up. Someone's going to get on top of the basketball. Well, I we'll thought he was hit on the arm, but they're going to say it's going to be a tied ball, jump ball possession, right? There? I didn't see it. i got to be honest. I thought he should be shooting free throws. Now we have a benefit of replay. Tough break for the Archers. Otterville have the basketball and the two-point lead. Pass is deflected. Lots of contact. There is whistle and a foul. Well, I like everybody in Otterville green and yellow beside us wanted a foul call, and they, they were able to get it. See the contact right there initiated by Brewer, and then both guys fighting for it, and they're going to say it was Brewer. That was a little too physical for the free for the foul call. Well, Brewer's going to pick up his second foul. Inbound goes under the basket, and a great move by Horseman, trying to keep his body straight. Will score. He's now got 12. And Horseman's just been a guy that has done everything they needed in the right situation. Comes up with another big basket off of a lob. Puts the big green in front by four. Still five minutes to go in our third quarter. Pick up at the free throw line. Fuller has to get rid of the basketball. Now McMichael with it. McMichael in a tough spot. Back out to Leasty. Leasty through the lane, left-handed. Doesn't get it to go. Ottaville fans wanted a travel call. And we're gonna have to figure out a, a way to get a shot for Brewer next time down. Bucket's going to be good on the other end. Schlagbaum's able to score. It looks like he'll have a chance at a three-point play. Good job of recognizing that the defender is flat-footed. So Schlagbaum goes right after McMichael. McMichael was standing waiting. Schlagbaum initiates, initiates and drives right by him. Schlagbaum now with 13. He'll have a chance to add to it. Free throw will be good. Zadaville adding on to what is the biggest lead of the night, 35-28. Yeah, we're kind of snacking on danger here. You have to score. We're going to get a timeout here by Antler. We've got to set something up. Everything momentum-wise in the second half, all been Ottaville. Yeah, timeout on the floor. We'll step aside as well. Ottaville with a lead on WOSN. Thirty-five twenty-eight, Ottaville with the lead. So they begin to pull away here. We wondered if this was going to happen to Antwerp at some point in the night, partner. Hey, you, you might want to say the possession of the game right here, right? They've got to come away with some kind of point. It looks like Ottaville is just going to keep scoring up by seven. Ottaville's defensive intensity in the second half been lights out, limiting Antwerp to barely a shot every possession. Started at 28-28. Uh, 
to begin the second half. So 7-0 run for the Big Green. Led to this lead. They've been able to convert a couple of stops into points. They've got a big three-point play as well. Now the officials holding a play. There might have been some water dripped under the court during the uh, timeout Antwerp subtle. That's actually been used to slow down games before. Remember Jason Kidd, when he was a coach, I believe it was the Nets, poured water on the court and then pointed it out. Hey, there's water on the floor to slow the game down. They had to fix it and slow things down. So, not saying that's what's going on here. I'm just saying that that's it's been just done before. It's possible. Yeah. All right. We'll let the Antwerp coaches know what you've accused them of. <laughs> so McMichael passes deflected, but the Archers will get it back. Oh, look at the defensive intensity by Ottaville. Brewer through a double team, needs some help, gets the kick out. Here's Altimus. Altimus, good to see him get the contact. No call. Coach Billman, a little upset. Now here's the big green in transition. Kick out in the extra pass. Corner three in and out. Everyone in Ottaville ready to make some noise. Ball's lost out of bounds. Looks like the green will keep it. Well, Schnipke has himself a great look in the corner. He's going to bury this thing. It's absolutely everything, but can't get it to fall. That would have been huge. Ottaville would have went nuts with a 10-point lead. Jace, uh, Jace Langhouse will do the inbounding. He's going to come inside. Tough shot off the window. Doesn't go. Fighting for the rebound. We'll get a tie-up. Arrow's going to favor the Archers. Well, you need a big play. Even if it's a jump ball, you go to Mr. Cool. Carson Ultimus goes up and gets that jump ball, so you hold possession, but... A little full court extended here again by Ottaville. A little token pressure. They'll back out of it once Antwerp inbounds the basketball. Over to Zane McMichael. McMichael gets a screen now. His double team trying to step through it. And he's going to be pushed and fouled. Now it's the right call by the official because you do such a great job of initiating the run and jump trap on the freshman. But what's he able to do? He splits it, right? He gets his legs to it, and he splits the defense, splits them apart, and then the contact is made. That's a foul on you. Good fundamentals there by Zane McMichael. It's Langhouse picks up his first, just the uh, second of the half. Called against the big green here. Still three and a half minutes left to go. Third quarter in our Amper Exchange Bank scoreboard. Brewer at the wing, trying to go one on one. Looking for some help, goes baseline. He'll work through a triple team, puts up a shot. That's no good. Fuller had the rebound go through his hands, and now it's the big green in transition. From the corner, another three up and good. Oh, Schnipke. What, how do you spell corner three? It's Schnipke, Schnipke, Schnipke. And now whistle on the other end as this lead's grown to 10. As Langhouse is going to pick up his second foul. Yeah, moments ago, Schnipke had that look from the three that rimmed out. That time he's able to get it, but they're going to get the foul on Ottaville that time. But they're okay because it's wearing Brewer down. If I'm at work, maybe see if you can get a two-man game on the side, get Brewer posted up with Ultimus on the side so you have a three-point combination with a post-up availability. Got to come up with something to get some points, but that turnover is going to hurt him again. Ottoville setting up in the half court now. He'll slow it down with his double digit lead nearing the two and a half minute mark of our third quarter. Trying to snap a four game losing streak to Antwerp. Wing three, too strong. Fuller gets the rebound. He'll find one of the ball handlers, now gets it back. Well, Coach Billman gonna roll the dice a little bit. Gonna bring Parker Moore back in on the next dead ball. Here's one taken away. Contact under the basket. Bunny no good by Turnwald, and Antwerp comes away with it. Archers able to keep it at 10. Off balance, three's no good, but Brewer is fouled. Looks like we'll see Landon Brewer head to the charity stripe. Well, I guess they fouled him on the shot attempt. Coach Otendorf, the Hey, coach, I don't know, saying, no, I gave him the old Reggie Miller with the legs out. 
Maybe we'll get a chance to take a look at it, but otherwise it's going to be three at the line. That's a huge free throw opportunity. And Coach Odendorf being told, you could got, you're not allowed to come out of the box anymore. It's Landon Brewer. It's the first of three free throws. Gets it back into single digits, 38-29. That conversation continues with Mark Freilich. And Mark's doing a really good job because Coach Otendorf wanted to get more fired up, and he's not letting him. He's settling him down. That's a good piece of officiating right there. How many times have we seen an official go over with a fired-up coach and then put a little gasoline on it, right? <laughs> yeah, Mark Freilich did a really good job of settling him down, explaining things to him. A veteran officiating crew with multiple state tournament games here tonight for this one. As Brewer gets all three free throws, and they come at a big time for the Archers, now down seven. It's like trying to go with a little run and jump defense. Trying to set up a trap somewhere. Trey Landwehr, number 15 for Ottaville, in the game for the first time tonight. See him just off your screen, now he's got the basketball. Landwehr trying to go baseline, gets the kick out. Turnwall pull up jumper, that one is left short. That was the 1-3-1 one, one that kind of changed things up in the first half and Antwerp went back to it, get the ill-advised shot. Fuller's gonna have this one ripped away. It's gonna be a tie up and a nice job Langhouse coming in, number two. So you're going to the lane, right? What are you gonna do with it? Go up? Pass it out, do something. If you just go and stop, what's going to happen? Guys are going to grab the basketball. That's a good learning opportunity tomorrow when they're watching film. Ball back over to the big green with a seven-point leader in the Antwerp Exchange Bank scoreboard. Good entry pass inside, not only kick out. That one nearly taken away. Ottaville right now playing five on four. Corner three is going to miss everything. Rebound under the basket goes to Turnwald. And now we'll get a whistle and... I believe a foul coming against Antwerp. And I gotta be careful of the inside pass on the baseline here, but you know, partner, this is a really big 58.7 left. Antwerp, if they can get it back to five and below, they're gonna have a shot, but anything that's seven to 10, I think it's gonna be really tough for them to win this game in the fourth quarter. Reed Leasty's gonna pick up his second foul. Now another foul off the inbound is gonna lead to a couple of free throws. Such a fantastic move by Horseman. Hanging out on the low block, just kind of spins his hip, seals off his defender, waits for the pass. Such a fundamentally well-schooled team. Horseman gets himself to the line. First one, bounces out, no good. So Horseman with 12 tonight. One more opportunity here, as Miles said. Just under a minute left to go, third quarter. High arcing free throws, no good. Brewer fighting for the rebound. There's about two white, two green jerseys all mixed in there. Well, win or lose, both teams, right? When they're watching film tomorrow, one thing that each coach is not going to have to really work up on his team is effort. No, you're right. Oh, boy. The effort has just been elite here tonight. Both teams working extremely hard early in the season getting on the floor. So the tie-up, Arrow favors the Archers. They'll get it in here with 53 seconds to go, quarter number three. Held to just three points this quarter as well. Fuller had the basketball. Brewer trying to get his defender in the air, twisted turns, can't get anything open. Parker Moore with it, Moore. The free throw line gives inside. Trying to get the runner and something good. It's Cam Fuller able to score. Well, started with the senior Moore, able to keep the dribble alive, found a teammate cutting. Back to a five point lead. Ottaville play for the final shot of the quarter. Holding onto it right now, Turnwald. He'll get rid of it. And we're able to switch back to man. Step back three, what a big one, the dagger. Schlagbaum, his fourth triple of the night, the huge one. Ooh, nasty, nasty variety. A little step back, burying the eyeball. Oh, he's a big time shooter. 
41-33, fourth quarter coming up next. Now, partner, just when you thought that maybe the Antwerp Archers had uh, cut it to five, feeling pretty good, needed to stop. What a step back three at the horn. Kellen Schlagbaum now 17 points. Nothing bigger than that big three. It makes us 41-33 as we move to the fourth quarter. Man, I thought we were watching an NBA game there, right? A little step back. Jason Tatum time, burying it from long range. Schlagbaum has been absolutely sensational tonight for Audeville. We head to the fourth quarter here on WOSM. Thank everyone joining us for live high school basketball tonight. Good early season test for Antwerp again. Getting off to a late start because of their success in football. Talk to any basketball coach that has to deal with that, and he will, that is a trade they're willing to make. Well, at least publicly they say that, right? You know, I'm sure a little bit deep inside, they're like, oh, I wish I could get my full team back and get going, but yeah, success on the football field usually breeds success during the, the winter as well. Now, some places they're kind of used to it, and they build their schedule knowing, hey, you know what, maybe we just take that first weekend off Offensive foul, fighting through a screen is going to be called away from the basketball. And they're going to see it right here. Turnwald's going to cut through the lane it's right called. there, and he's going to bump into Brewer, and Brewer does a good job just establishing himself. And yeah, Michael Turnwald, I don't know sure if he wants to be an attorney in the future, but he was litigating there. He, he very much was. Picks up his second foul. Now Antwerp with the basketball, trying to cut into this eight-point deficit. Brewer, pull up jumper, elbow hits it. Now, big time players, they kind of feel the moments, don't they? Knows his team needs a basket, that's a tough one, but big time players can make big time shots. He's got 16, here's a corner three in the other end. That spot's been left open most of the night for Audeville this time. It's Alex Seaver who knocks it down. And he got credit Grant Lees who sets a great down screen to get him free. Doing the little things, gets you good shots. Ottaville take that trade. Here's a floater from the free throw line, hits the heel of the iron. It's no good. And the rebound comes out to Grant Lees. Ottaville walk this one into the front court and they'll take their time. Pass thrown away. Antwerp comes up with a steal. McMichael gives Parker Moore. Moore steps back, tries to go baseline, and we'll get a whistle as a body hits the deck. Looks like this is going to be a foul on Alex Seaver. Yeah, just not sliding over, using the baseline as another defender. A little tardy with the feet, you're going to get called. Ball goes back, Brewer trying to chest up. Well, thought about the step back three, gives to the cutter that's not there. He's looking for a deflection. He's trying to plead his case, but it goes to no avail. Yeah, you see the intensity that Schlage Baum accepted responsibility defending Brewer. Got himself fired up. Gets a turnover out of it. 44-35 on our Antwerp Exchange Bank scoreboard. Dribble handoff, Ottaville hasn't really slowed down a lot. Nice look inside, doesn't go. Second opportunity, no good, but Carter Horseman, who has 12 points, will go to the free throw line. How about the step through by Horseman, a little up and under. Has the wherewithal to go up again. Has the ability to get off the floor quickly. I hope somebody's making offensive rebound opportunities, first one to it. First free throw hit the front of the iron, no good. Struggled there a little night, a little bit tonight for him. One chink in the armor for him. Everything else been fantastic. I believe he's missed his last three. Early season struggles. He'll leave that one short as well. Still leaves the door open a little bit for the archers. Down nine with five and a half minutes to go. 
They need some offense. Moore is dribbling around at the wing. Brewer's got to come get the basketball. Brewer through the lane. It doesn't go. Schlagbaum had the rebound. Now in transition, will go out of Hill and Turnwald able to finish it off with a bucket. Another breakout opportunity. Where are you down defensively where eventually it becomes a layup line. That was a three on none opportunity. Coach Billman doesn't like it, so he's going to call timeout. Now fourth timeout used by Antwerp. We'll take one. We'll take one as well here as Ottaville begins to pull away. Forty-six thirty-five, Ottaville in front of Antwerp here as we move through our fourth quarter. Antwerp knowing they can't take their five timeouts home, so Doug Billman's used four of them up so far. Wow, this early in the season and the limited amount of times you've had at practice, they're going to use a lot of them early in the year, kind of slow things down, a lot of teachable moments, but. The fight has been there for Antwerp, just the defense of Ottawa has just been so overwhelming. Ottawa kind of looks at Antwerp's program in Division Four, points it, and that's where they want to be. Both these teams advanced to the regional at BGSU a year ago. There's one loose, about the heads up play there by Lees to keep his dribble. Ottaville fell in the uh, semifinals of the regional. They lost to Tiffin Calvert. Antwerp won it on their way to a trip to State and Dayton. Corner jumper's no good. Ball's going to be saved two rows into the bleachers. Turnwald showing off some of those soccer skills. With the World Cup, you know, everyone's a soccer fan now. Even yeah, it is wild how everybody goes nuts over that tournament, isn't it? You know, it's the biggest sporting event in the world. Watched by a billion, that's with a B people, not million with an M. It's the world's game, Miles, you should enjoy it. I love baseball. Wing three by Brewer is gonna be no good, rebounds lost out of bounds. Now we might have a foul called here, I thought just a, yeah, I think a simple a deflection foul. out, but it is going to be a foul, we're gonna walk to the other end. It looks like Ottaville's gonna get one of the bonus. Uh, it's going to be Seaver at the line. He had 12 points versus Bath. A little bit quieter tonight, but. And a couple three-pointers for him for six. Looks like everybody on this Ottawa team can nail it from the perimeter. Everybody can handle the ball on the, on the perimeter as well, so it makes them really dangerous. Because if you overextend, they'll beat you with the dribble. If you play off, they'll say, okay, I'll hit the three ball. Tough offensively to defend. See, we're able to knock down both free throws. Gives him eight, and it's a 13-point lead for the Big Green. Parker Moore trying to get a little bit of space and get rid of it into the corner. Top of the key, McMichael. Now Brewer, come and get the basketball, steps back. He fires away, that's no good. And another rebound pulled down by Seaver. Uh, you had another shot that Brewer had to shoot over top of a body. Ottaville's done such a good job of defending him with physicality. Horseman's pass into the baseline is going to be taken away. Horseman nearly got it back, but Antwerp comes away with it. Brewer's going to wait for everyone to come into the front court. Here's McMichael, left-handed. It's up no good, but looks like we will see Zane McMichael head to the free throw line. Good recognition by McMichael. Saw that the lane was open. Attacked with it. Used enough of the body to get himself to the free throw line. And if you're out of though, you got to be a little disappointed that you foul Antwerp because now they can knock down that lead, but the clock isn't moving, and the clock is your best friend right now. Exactly what McMichael's able to do. So he's got four points now. Both teams continue to make changes. If you're Doug Billman, 
do you go ahead and apply pressure defensively here, knowing that you're going to have to get some turnovers? It's tough, though, because this Audible team takes care of the basketball so well. Point. More contact for a rebound that's not there. The paint officials in the stands wanted a call. The intensity is not let up here with 3.15 to go. And we're trying to get a stop, make this again a single digit game and now the reach as players continue on. Isn't that funny how really good players know that they're gonna get fouled and that you wanna get to the free throw line. Yeah, you know, take those free points. Slagbaum's like, ah, they're gonna foul me eventually. Let me keep dribbling. I'll get myself to the free throw line. It's exactly what the senior's done. 17 tonight for the Big Green, and he'll make it 18 as he hits the front end of the one and one. Well, we heard about what a fantastic player Schlagbaum is. I would say it was everything that they told us, right? And so far, yeah. the ball tipped away. Antwerp will maintain possession here. 3.06 to go. Scoreboard tonight brought to you by the Antwerp Exchange Bank. We proudly invest in our community and in tonight's broadcast. And McMichael walks this one into the front court. Antwerp's going to play hard all night, but you've got to wonder, partner, at what point do the Archers maybe call this one off? Yeah, just nine points here in the second half. Not going to win many games. The rebound volleyed around. It's still loose on the floor. And someone's going to go head first into the drum set. If you're Antwerp, you know you're going to get some points out of Brewer every night, right? Other than that, where's some of your scoring going to come from? You know, that's the thing that they're going to have to figure out moving forward, right? right. Yeah, I think Ultimus, as he gets healthier, he's going to get some some points for you this year. Parker Moore looks like a guy that can score a little bit. A long pass, officials say last touch by Ottaville. And it's gonna be a tough call. Both players jumping, you know, substitutions coming in. Yeah, went off of Antler, but it, you know, if you're Ottaville, don't get too upset about it. Everything else has been pretty good tonight, but you know, going back to the, the scoring for Antler, and McMichael, I think, is a guy that as the season goes, he's gonna have to establish himself as a scorer. Archer's trying to fight back into this one. Still down 13. Entry pass knocked away. Trying to feed Brewer. Take a look at the scoring tonight. So Brewer with 16 of the 37. You see Moore with two. McMichael with five. Leasty with 10. There's our producer Ken Reeker going back to controversial calls. Good look inside. Trying to get that one off the window. Doesn't go. Brewer's going to fight for the rebound and he will save the possession with the timeout. And Ken Reeker just told us in his ear he thought that one went off of Ottaville. That's why he went back to that replay. Just agreed with the officials. Yeah. He's going to show it one more time, I guess. But we got time, so. It, it kind of left hand off of Schlagbaum, didn't it? It looked like it. That's, that, that's the simultaneous catch in football. Well, I don't know if you know this, but 1972, on Christmas Eve, Ken Reeker was at Three Rivers Stadium, and he shot the immaculate reception, and he said it went off of Jack Tatum into Franco's hands. It was immaculate, Randy. It really was. And, and I bet it was a reception. It was, indeed. Like a wedding reception? Henry Girl always doing a good job, and our, our camera lady, Sam, doing a good job getting some shots for us tonight as well. But nobody's been better than RoboCam. RoboCam's been fantastic tonight. See him right there down he is. there? There's yep. our, right above our guy, the official. Our eye in the sky. Three ball off the inbound's gonna be no good. Ottaville trying to break the pressure. They will They'll get ahead. And the layup's going to be good. Schlagbaum's going to continue to add on to his totals and have a chance for another one. 
And that good anticipation right here by Schlagbaum. Look at the burst off the dribble, then the finish. Just a little bit of content to go through, and then eyes on the rim. And how about the little flex at the end, saying let's get this one. Free throw attempt spins out. As Carson Aldemus comes up with a miss. Fifteen point lead now for the Big Green. Under two to go. Aldemus trying to find a little bit of room. Played sparingly tonight. Just kind of still lacking that burst that we're aware of. Used to seeing out of him, huh? Oh yeah, Brewer trying to draw some contact. That one's no good. Parker Moore. Heading it right in towards that band. It gotta be very frustrating for an explosive athlete like Ultimus, where you're just kind of trying to work your way through. You can't really attack with that same quickness that you used to having. And now he will sit back down, he being Ultimus. Trying to work their way back in. Expect this Antwerp team to be at full strength when we get closer to the GMC schedule. And foul committed here with a minute 31 to go. I, mean, I wonder if Coach Belmont will start to wave it off. You know, down by 15. You don't want to keep fouling when they know that under inside of two minutes the verdict is already determined. Alex Seaver at the line for the double bonus. First one's going to be no good. Now Jace Langhouse come back into the lineup. Second one rims out as well. Tough break for the big green. Antwerp will get it back. Move around Parker Moore. He'll unload from deep range. That one's no good. And now he'll have the push in the corner with a minute 18 to go. Michael Turnwald shooting two. So Michael Turnwald at the line with five points. He'll head to the. First free throw is good out of turn wall. And he'll hit them both. So pressure defense still applied. Ottaville's going to get the steal here. And they're just going to run out the final minute in 10 seconds. As I say that, we'll have a foul. We'll give Ottaville the opportunity to send a couple more substitutions into our lineup. There's Sam. Great work she's done tonight. Schlagball maybe hit the first free throw. Kellen Schlagbaum come in. 18 and a half points per game through the first two. He's got 22 here tonight. Now it'll stay at 22. The second one is no good. Minute to go here from the range, 54-37. Antwerp also bringing some of their reserves into the lineup tonight. There's a look inside. That one doesn't go. And now free throws coming for the Archers with 41 seconds left. And Zane McMichael, who has five points, will shoot a couple of free throws. First one, no good. He'll get one more here. It's Trey Landwehr and Garrett Trippman 
coming in for the first time tonight for the Big Green. Second free throw is good. So McMichael able to split the pair. See what Ottaville will do up here, 55-38. Ottaville just trying to move around here. 25 seconds to go. You can slash to the basket up with the left hand. Shot's no good. Rebound comes out to Antwerp. It's having some of their JV players come in to fill out a roster tonight. The baseline drive. Shot's no good. One more rebound. That is grabbed by Adam Brinkman. And the horn will sound in our final tonight here on the range. We'll have the Big Green of Ottaville improve to 3-0 as they defeat the Inward Archers tonight, 55-38. to We'll take a timeout. When we come back, we'll be joined down on the floor with our Miles Holiday and our player of the game when we return here at WOSN. A big night for the Ottaville, a big green as they've come to Antwerp, snapped a four game losing streak to the Archers with a 55-38 win. Part of that effort was Kellen Schlagbaum, finishes with 22 tonight. He's down on our floor with our Miles Holiday as he is our dynamic dude of the day. All right, 22 points tonight, Kellen Schlagbaum. This is a big win for you guys. It's been about four years since you guys have been able to beat an Antwerp program. Were you guys excited for this opportunity tonight? Yeah, we always kind of, our coach preached that these guys have had our numbers for a while and we wanted to get back at them and definitely capped a good team display tonight and we, we definitely put it to them. Yeah, 19 uh, last time out against Bath, 22 here tonight. Uh, uh, talk to us a little bit about your offensive approach this year. Uh, I, we kind of, we lost Will last year. He was kind of our main guy scorer. So me and Michael have kind of had to step up and take that role and so far we're doing a pretty good job and it's, you know, it takes everyone for me to do that good. So it's, it's really a team effort. Yeah, you talk about everyone to do well, horsemen was outstanding for you guys. And I talked to us a little bit about how important he is to you guys. He's he's an animal. He gets about every every rebound you can imagine. He's he's there, he's fighting for it, and he's he's always diving after the loose ball. So he's really the, the engine to our offense, and he kind of you know gives us motivation on the offensive end. A great defensive intensity tonight. You had a, a, an assignment a little bit tonight against Landon Brewer, a great player. Uh, how important was it for you to be a team leader to take that assignment? Yeah, he's he's a tough player. He's He was not fun to guard, I'll tell you that. but. You know, coach kind of told me that I'd be guarding him, so I've, I've guarded him in AAU practices and stuff, so I kind of knew how he was. And, you know, our coach said just force him right, do everything right, keep him off the glass, and then you'll do good. A yeah, big moment in this basketball game right over here. Uh, they cut it down to five right before the end of the quarter. You step back, hit a three, and bury it. What the emotions as the buzzer went off, you get to the bench. What was the feeling like? Yeah, that was, that was a cool shot. I mean, it's always kind of fun when you can hit a buzzer beater. That's what everyone kind of dreams about, and that's kind of what – you know, everyone wants to do is at a step back three at the buzzer. Well, you made big shots all night long. Last time here, last opportunity. Big shot, half court, right here to there. Can you make it? Yeah. All right, our player of the game right here. Kellen Schlagbaum, half court. There it is. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Randy, that guy was dynamic all night long. Yeah, and uh, you mentioned uh, Carter Horseman. He's going to be our Stolly Award a Hustle uh, player of the game as well, Miles. It's the great effort that uh, Carter Horseman had tonight. So Kelly and Schlagbaum finishes with 22 points. Horseman goes for 12. They're the two in a double digits for Antwerp. Also two players double digits tonight. Landon Brewer with 16. Reed Leasty finishes with 10. That's going to wrap up uh, everything for uh, us here at uh, Antwerp this evening. I want to thank Drew Aldemus, the athletic director at Antwerp. Of course, can't thank uh, Samantha Ryan for the work she's done on the camera tonight. And of course, our director, Ken Reeker. So, our final, once again, the Ottaville Big Green go to 3-0. They defeat the Antwerp Archers tonight, 55-38. to For my partner, Miles Holiday and our entire WOSN crew, I'm Brady Roberts. Thanks for watching, everyone.